Hey guys, what's up? Sko1234 well, here, and we're gonna play another game. Uh, it's another actual old RPG game that was on the PSP. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> it actually wasn't on the PSP. It was, uh, it was on the, um, it was first created, um, through RPG Maker, I think XP or 2013. And then they actually made it onto the PSP, the little old school PSP controller that I still actually have mine right over there, and it still works. So now they imported it on, um, on PC because that game was only in Japan, and now we can all play it and have a, um, have a fun time. Now, I'm still sick, so I might be coughing here a little while, but I decided to make a video because I want to make a video. I wanted to... <coughs> sorry. I wanted to make a video. I wanted to... Basically get this new year started because what a great new year, huh? All right, so as I always say, let's get started. Okay um, Chapter one That's on the way. I'm just gonna have some water too View chapter one opening. Yeah, why not you got your tits Ugh, Okay I don't know what that said. She'd do anything for me. Ugh, that's creepy. I don't think... Oh, that's that's really tripping out my dyslexia. Ah! <laughs> but I still love her with all my heart. Okay. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She stumbled. Oh, she tumbled, and she fell. And she died. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary. And it wasn't long after that the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. But that elementary school once stood right here, on the site of our Kizagari Academy. Some say that teacher still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on a rainy evening like this, after classes have come to an end, some claim she roams through these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. That's creepy. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds. Just after seven o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock. You'll hear from the blackness. Followed by the sound of the classroom doors, slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Ah! <laughs> oh. It's just thunder, uh, Mochita? Mochita, ah, okay. Mochita? <laughs> I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. <laughs> Come on, stop laughing! There was no laughter. <laughs> Most amusing. It was just bad timing, that's all. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to tell you, Mochita. It's so rewarding. Whoever heard of a classroom representative with a, such a sadistic streak? Whoever heard of a boy who can't hit, who can't hit a note like that when he screams? Ah, save me! <laughs> Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. Okay, okay. Let's not, let's not have any fighting. If we don't hurry and get back to the cleaning this, the clean up, ah, uh, and get back to cleaning this place up, it'll be seven o'clock till we do. And 
you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointed time now, would you? Too late. My, it's really... It really is seven already? And the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Don't you bring an umbrella, Shigi? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Really? Thank you. That would be lovely. What? A blackout, huh? No, it can't be. Oh, no! Is it a little late for anybody else to come here? Any else to be- Anybody else to be here? Are they gone? Hey! Hey, Sta- Uh, Satoshi. Aren't you good to see? What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. I can't move my legs one inch. I'm scared too, you know. Oh, oh, here I go! So to here I go. Ah! Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. That's teacher. Gotcha! I just wanted to join in all in the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleaning up coming along? M miss y you. Ah. <laughs> Did I scare you? You're telling that old ghost story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss You. Miss Shishu. Shishido? Miss Shishido, you've heard that story. You've heard the story too? If it's that old tale about Heavenly Host Elementary School, then of course I have. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I haven't thought about that. Well, it comes to the seven wonders of uh, Kisigari High. I'm pretty well. Ver I'm pretty well. Vers oh, well versed. They've been around for a long time now. Though I can't take credit for the blackout. I was just good fortune. Anyway, Mochita. Yes? I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall, wait, hall who's come to see you. Huh? Come on in. Hey, hello, everybody. Uh, Yuka, what are you doing here? Big brother! Seems Machida forgot his umbrella this morning. So little Yuka here has come all this way to deliver it. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Is she from junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. I had no idea you had such a cute little sister. Uh, Satish... Sa Satoshi. Satoshi. That's not a hard name to say. <laughs> Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help, too. You, you will? Okay, thanks. All right. Looks like we've got two extra pairs of hands now. So let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Guess you're roping me into this too, huh? Okay, everybody, nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Oh my god, that's totally what I would do. Today's red bean calf was the talk of the culture festival. So do you give yourself a hand? So do you give yourself a hand? You guys worked hard, and it really paid off. And it really paid off. And you even resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you. So, have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kind of lukewarm. My stomach's go so gr gurgly. 
I don't think milk would sit well with me right now. <laughs> These are from your fr fighting with the vent vending machine, I'll bet. <laughs> you must have pulled the change lever a good ten. You must have pulled that change lever a, a good ten times before you finally gave up. Crap. You saw that, huh? Miss you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You're really you're very welcome. Thanks, Teach. Susumoto. Susumoto. I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. <laughs> Thanks. I can do the sniffle. Aha! Won't be the same around here without you, Zumi. I know you. Zuzumu. Zuzumo. Zuzumoto. Your new friend's note. You'll make new friends in no flat. No time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure to come visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can't go too? Thank you. All of you. Hey brother, is that girl transferring to the new sc to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Aw, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Not that we could do about it, though. Unfortunately. Hey. Miss Shishudo. Before we go. Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called, uh, Sashiko Ever After. Who's uh, Sashiko? And what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Eh, <laughs> kinda. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends, anyway. That's the gist of it. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Oh, it's a charm. Yep, that's all she, uh, she... Shinozaki had to say. Suzu Suzumoto is already totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. Is everybody else okay with us? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it too. Yay, charm! Sure, whatever. Morjiki, Morjiki, you too? Uh, yes. Looks like the eyes have it. The floor is yours, Shin uh, Shinozaki. Great. Okay, everybody, gather in a circle around this paper Sashaki doll. And in your head, repeat the words. Sashaki. No, Sashakio. We beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. Don't worry if you fumble it a little. Just make sure you don't stop power way, though. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. This is creepy. All right, let's get started. Everybody remember the charm. Shashiko, we believe we beg of you nine times. Ready? Begin. Oh, this is a little creepy. I've got some water. <laughs> oh, she's talking. Ah! Everybody said nine times. Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody, reach toward the paper doll and grab hold of it anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it as if you have to just don't let go. You're going to pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, pull! Why'd it go red? Nicely done. Everybody, everyone. 
Now, just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide in your student ID holder, or your wallet. Basically anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm? As long as we all have a little piece of a shashiko with us, we'll always be connected with one of another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Now, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool! I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my bees. Thank you, Shinozaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. That's cute. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we'll, we all have, we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, madam. Ooh. Huh? Gah! An earthquake? Oh no! What the hell? This is like, holy crap big! Ooh, shit diggins. Big brother, I'm scared! Zuka, take my hand! Everybody stay calm. Get under the desks until it passes. Hurry! Oh shit, oh my god! Uh, the floor! Everybody hang on to something, if you can. What the hell is happening? I can't. Damn it. I can't see a thing. Naomi, where are you? Satisho? Satoshi. That's not Satisho. Satoshi. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Ow, my leg. I can't move it. So I guess it's just a spring. Oh, I can move it, so I guess it's just a spring. Huh? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. Holy fuck. It's so dark, I can't... I can barely see a thing. Is this... The school? <laughs> What's going on? What the hell is this place? Ooh, shit. It's really dark out there. Maybe I should check this room first. Alright, let's go investigate. Do, 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 do. Uh, is that... Sezuko? Sezuko! This isn't good. Uh, can you move that? No? Okay. I guess I gotta go in here first. Yep. Alright, let's... Ooh! Ow! <sighs> that really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. What's that? Heavenly Post. Third student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Host School seem to be disappearing, as now a third student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmates testified the fifth grader was on her way home from school, but got separated from her friends in the hallway, and wasn't and hasn't been seen since. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned and have assigned countless investigators to the case in hopes of spreading of speeding resolution. However, ten days have already passed since the first disappearance, given parents and classmates ample cause of concern. Jesus Christ. Oh, Seiko! 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 See? Thank goodness. She's still breathing. Seiko, come on, Seiko! Wake up! Uh. Uh. Huh? Naomi? Naomi, what's up? Don't you what's up with me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Uh, where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's a pinch, it's pitch black out there. I can make heads or tails or what I, of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desk seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school? An elementary school? It can't be. Can it? <gasps> what is it? The printout on the wall. It says, Heavenly Host Elementary! You know, so faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Is it that? The elementary school that proceeds? That preceded Kisagari El Alchemy? Alchemy? And was shut down and demolished. Oh God! What's happening? Where the hell are we? And what? Where are our friends? I miss you. Deep breathing. <laughs> oh, that's. <was>, I, <laughs> I thought it said deep breathing. Calm down, Sek uh, Sekio. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. So you can I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard. I could hear my teeth chatter. That was what I was like yesterday when I had my fever. Whew. I'd become completely lightheaded. I could even barely, I, and I couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare. But no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. Oof. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something. Anything. Okay. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here a, a quaking in, te in terror. We need to do something. You know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are always... But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't think it's just mean you're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure. But there might be an entranceway. Or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to... All lo lo I feel like I'm going to I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay then, first step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up after all. It's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can get reunited with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. Ooh, this music, man. I had no reason to believe of any of what I just said. I had probably a delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd, I'd be inconsol inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on my strongest front I could manage. Whoa! Character introductions. Direct the eye towards any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southwest side of the room to resume play. Okay. Satoshi uh, Mokadia, 17. A student in Kasagari Academy Senior High, class 2 9. Fairly average, but, pro but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measures. Despite his timed, his timidness, he's very personable. 
personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards other and make him a natural leader. The one person even uh, the one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is uh, consequently the only person to whom Satoshi regard differs judgment. This is Naomi. Naomi Nakashima. Nakashima. A student in Kasagari Okima said, okay. Frequently greets Satisha with, oh, not you again. <laughs> uh, having lost her father a few backs, you few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on another for more support. So she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has uh, given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to med medical school. Psycho Ashima Sharp. She, I can't say names, man. A free spirit. She often says or does things that take others by surprise. Though she's always easily forgotten due to her genuine good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three young siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Uh, Seiko seems to be re uh, regard Naomi as her k kinder spirit, and two of them frequently have long cons or con conversations about their main dreams of the future. Yuka uh, Mokari, uh, Mochida, 14. Satoshi's little sister, though she's an 8th grade at... She's 8th grade? Man, she looks young. In Mochida household, Yuka... Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shredding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is. And this often gets her into trouble. Miss Yu, Miss Yu, Shisho, Shishu, Shishido, Shishido, got it, ah! An 11th grade English teacher at Kikasa, yeah, yeah, yeah. just starting this semester after passing teaching exam and eager to make an impression. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her engaged zeal and youth uh, enthusiasm are infectious, and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher, okay. And she's always in charge. All eyes on her always. Yeah, that last part was really important. Sh Yoshiki... Kishinuma. All right. Often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one of the participants in events, his fondness of uh, Satoshi and Yumi always means he'll make an exception now and again if ever if either is involved. All right, give me a second. <coughs> With in intense drama at home. Yushiki certain works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Yumi, the appointed representative of Ishigaragara, uh, is generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case any opportunity presents, presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Yumi wears this rep... Uh, rep Reputation. Where is this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which ri which rivals even Satisho Satoshi's in its intensively. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only the personal personal pride can break her out of this fear induced state. All right. End character introduction. Return the game. Yes, you bet your tits. Come on, Naomi. Let's go. Okay. All right, so. Ah! Uh, hey, Naomi. Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh, yeah. I was so freaked out. I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk, at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Uh, okay, thanks. Can we open, we move that? Nope. All right, let's go outside. Wait, wait a second. Eh, another earthquake? No! 
Is it over? Whew. I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. Uh, what, 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 what's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. Yeah, the note's missing. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse? Yeah, maybe. Bucket! Bucket! There's a yellow fluid con- oh. <laughs> What the heck is this, P? You don't say that. Alright, that goes back in the room. Yeah, let's not check the P room. Uh, okay. Well, can't really do anything there. Maybe I can move this. The shelves are filled of overflowing with long black hair. Jesus fucking Christ, that's gross. It's like the movie The Ring. Alright, what's in here? Oh, God, I mean, what's in here? Maybe we got like a plank of wood we can grab or something? What's that? There's there's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you? Hell yeah! Acquired loose board. We can then probably cross the room. Yeah. The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems collapsing, but it's a little too wide to risk a jump. Hey, now, Emily, what about that loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. It seems kind of a beat up. But I guess it's a but I guess it's pretty solid. Try it! The loose board has been set in place. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, it's a candle. Hmm? This candle. I could swear I've seen it before. And that's a save point! And we're going to probably end that there because my head is getting worse. Um and I can barely, 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 barely speak. But this is interesting. This uh, this is actually kind of oh, what the hell, victims? Oh boy, victims. We got something, victims and sis. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of playing around. Anyways, that's uh, that's all I got time for today. It's a very interesting game. I kind of like the way that it's uh, that it's like old school RPG, like 2013 and XP style, like uh, the game Ib. The game is fucking amazing, and it kind of gives me the same little atmosphere. And I'm super excited to see what this game comes in stale, because apparently this game is terrifying, and apparently it's a really good old classic RPG horror game. So, I'm excited to see what's in stock. And again, I'll get back to Soma once I'm feeling better. I just can't do Soma today because 3D graphics just give me more of a headache, so I thought, hey, a 2D game will be a little bit better. Uh, it kind of helps, but anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, subscribe, comment to it. If you guys need to, in the comments down below, tell me what you guys think of the beginning of this adventure we're having together. Yeah, just let me know. And I'm sorry that I'm sick. Uh, I'll get better next week, hopefully, and next week we'll probably be focused more on different videos and such and all that beautiful jazz. But anyways, as uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Alright guys, take care! Let's.